Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here at Tech Power Up today, and there is a new version of the NVIDIA DLSS 3 Frame Generation DLL. And what this is, is a DLL file that contains all the latest and greatest from NVIDIA for the DLSS 3 Frame Generation that we use in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is native to your NVIDIA card if you have an RTX 40 series graphics card, a 4060 and above. For those of you with an NVIDIA 20 or 30 series RTX card, like I have a 3080 Ti, we use the frame generation mod to enable frame gen in the sim in both Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024. And replacing this DLSS3 frame gen DLL file, say that three times fast, will also help us. So if you're running the frame gen mod, you want to replace this file as well. So what we've got now is version 3.8.1. The previous version was from June of this year. So this is about six months worth of development on NVIDIA's side. What they do is they use their supercomputers and they run this, they run just thousands and thousands of iterations of games and different games and different setups to get as much information as they can. And then they boil that down using AI and machine learning technology and put this in this DLL file. And this will give us basically the best graphics and performance that you can get. So if you've got an RTX 40 card with native frame gen or an RTX 20 or 30 series card and you're using the frame gen mod, what you want to do is come here. I'll put a link in the description. Simply click on the download link, click on your local server, and then save this file to your PC. Once you have done that, open the file, extract it, and you're going to have this nvngx underscore dlssg file. And where we want to put that, if you go to C, depending on where you've got your sim installed, but presumably it's going to be C, Xbox games for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Mine is called Limitless. I didn't realize that was what it was going to be called, but come to the Limitless content folder. And then what you want to do, you want to make a backup of this file first. So come down here and get the NVNGX DLSSG file. Just copy that, make a backup of it somewhere. I'm going to put a backup right here. Now I've got that file backed up. And then I'll take the new one that I just downloaded. And I'll just drag it into this folder. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it. The answer to that question is yes. And then we want to go to C Xbox games, Microsoft Flight Simulator content. And it's the same folder, it's the same file rather that I just backed up. So I'm not going to worry about, let me just double check and make sure. Properties, if you look on the details, so this is, gosh, this one's even older, 3.5.1. So I definitely want to replace this one. Just going to drag it into the folder there for Flight Sim 2020. And now I've replaced both of those files and I am ready to get the best performance in frame gen that I can get from my NVIDIA RTX graphics card. So again, if you've got a 40 series card or a 20 or 30 series card and you're using the frame gen mod, you want to go ahead and get this updated file and replace it. I hope this was helpful to you guys. I want to thank my good friend Augusto Martins for pointing out that this file had just come out. Thanks again, Augusto. I appreciate that. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments section below. And I hope everybody's having a great day. Take care.